that's that's what the founders had in mind for this country was the idea that you know we basically govern ourselves and 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 government would be strictly limited in its powers and of course we've drifted so far from that over over such a long period of time but now it's on hyperdrive and i think ultimately it's much more than the cheap labor thing sure you government can sell that to, to big, big business you know, you want cheap labor, this is good for you. Go along with the Chamber of Commerce. But I don't think this starts with the business sector. I think it starts with government, which is interested in always expanding its power at the expense of individual liberty. And, and what better way than to have a bunch of sheep uh, coming into your country, people who are just happy to get any work that they can uh, and uh, who are not really interested or probably capable of functioning as a self-governing people under the parameters of our constitution. That's that's what I think it's all about. I agree with you. Uh, in closing, I want to get you back in the next few months to get into those documents you got. You said some of it was so incendiary, you had to carefully dole it out. When are we going to learn more about <laughs> what you got from the Clinton Library? I mean, what you released was bombshell. Yeah, well, it, it's... There's a lot of good stuff in there, but you know, when I look at it, I think this means something to me because I experienced it. You know, how much can I put out there without people thinking I'm just being self-indulgent and just being the But it doesn't matter. This is how they plan to shut down new media and how they. I mean, it's it's really powerful. Absolutely. They they thought of shutting down new media even before we got started, Alex. That's that they saw. I have to hand it to them. They saw what a threat. Uh, you know, we were at such an early stage in the development of new media. And so now, you know, <laughs> now with guys like you and, and Breitbart and Drudge and the rest, um, they really got their hands full and they'll be more serious than ever. But look, we've experienced it all with Obama already. Let's face it. I mean, I, I don't think the Clintons have any uh, tricks that Obama doesn't have. Uh, he has done things that I don't think Hillary could have got, gotten away with. Bill could have gotten away with. Uh, he has subverted the Constitution beyond my wildest imagination. You think he's going to try something to stay in office or sail off in the sunset? No, I think he wants to pick his successor. You know, for, he's also a genuinely lazy person. I don't think he likes being president. There's all the trappings that come with it, all the vacations and perks he likes. But, you know, I mean, I think he said, his attitude is I did my time. Now I'm, it's my turn to get rich. Look for Barack Obama to, you know, in a year or two, you'll see him sitting on a huge fortune. Ask yourselves how that happens. It happens every single time these guys leave office. <laughs> wow. A Joseph Farah, WND.com. Thank you so much for all you've done. We would be in even deeper trouble if it wasn't for you guys. Thank you, sir. Third hour. Thank you. Thank you. Third hour coming up.